Hi, I'm Dave Verba, and this demonstration is to help you use the Connect camera to manipulate your character rig in Nevron Motion. So I have LightWave 11.6 loaded up here, and we provide a, a scene that has some uh, preliminary items loaded up. Uh, so this is the Connect rig. It's uh, green to distinguish itself from the Nevron Motion rig. Um, and it doesn't have as many bones in it um, because the Kinect camera only tracks uh, a few items of your physical skeleton. Uh, so uh, let's just see how this thing works with the Virtual Studio. So first we're going to make sure that our Connect for Windows device manager is enabled and the Connect device is named Connect A. Uh, this is because uh, we have the the scene has uh, stu virtual studio traits that refer to the connect underscore a device. You can of course change that, but then you've got to update the references uh, yourself. Uh, notice that we're on enabled, ready, and we have some numbers showing up here. You may not see these numbers changing just yet because it may not be tracking you, uh, but once it does, you'll see this. Okay, so we're sure that's working. Now let's go to our virtual studio panel and we'll make that a little bigger. Uh, so we have all these um, item motion traits uh, related to the head, foot, ankle, knee, elbow, shoulder, and all that. Um, what I like to do is uh, multi-select them, click one, shift click on another and that highlights them and create a, a collection of the selection. What that allows me to do is operate on the collection and all the traits inside will follow suit. So this allows me to make my window a bit smaller and keep it out of the way a bit. Okay, so you'll notice that uh, the record column is enabled and the play column is enabled. What this means is that those traits will uh, follow the setting in the panel here for allow record or allow play. When you're doing both, uh, you can uh, record and playback at the same time. You may have some traits you've recorded previously in which that you'll be playing back, and then some traits you may be only recording. But if you're doing only one or the other, we can enable both of these for now. Uh, notice that the studio is not active at the moment. This is the, um, the rig's base pose. Uh, it should closely resemble the, the the pose, the base pose of your Nevron motion rig of your character when we get to that point. Uh, so let's activate this and whoa! Looks like i have uh, in some deep massage position or doing some yoga. So let's go uh, live. Ooh, that feels like it hurts too. Well, what this means is that I'm not being fully tracked yet, so I'm going to stand up and let's see what it gives me. Oh, there, that's a little better. Okay, so, waving my arms and my legs, doing a little rotation. Okay, so, to record this, we go and we say how many frames in our scene we want. I don't want a thousand, so let's go with, say, 400. And uh, we'll allow recording. That means that all the traits in this collection are going to record in take one. We'll do a one shot that stops the uh, the scene the layout scene time from wrapping around itself. So we we start at frame zero and we press play, and now we're recording. So there we go. We do a little jumping. All right. All right, and we're just about done. There we go. Okay, to play that back. Uh, notice that allow record is disabled now automatically. We go to allow play, and now we can just scrub through time and see what we got here. We can press the play button. There we go. Now let's say I want to record some other takes. Well, we can turn this play off. Now we're back to live again. Uh, notice you don't need to be live when you're playing back because you don't need to be before performing. But you do need to be active. If you turn off active, then 
none of the playback will occur on the studio. You can also do that at a trait level. You can turn off active. Right? Okay, so let's go to frame zero again. Let's change our take to take two. And notice uh, that applies to all the traits inside as well. And we'll go live again, record, one shot again, and here we go. So, uh, okay. oh, now it's easy. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We've got to stay within the field of view of the camera. Okay, so that's take two. Uh, so let's play back. Okay, so while we're playing back, we can be switching between takes. At will. Okay, so basically that's a good uh, way to just uh, demonstrate just recording in Virtual Studio, your Connect Rig takes. Uh, what we could do is save that scene. Uh, let's say uh, connect, goofing around, and when we can load that up later if we like. Uh, now, if we want to apply this to a character, um, we need to have that character as a scene file already. Okay, so let's go and clear this scene out. Uh, we provide a puppet character that's as a LWO object. Um, this one has weight maps applied to it already, as shown in a previous uh, tutorial. Okay, uh, let's see, bounding box, let's go here, okay. So this is our simple character, almost like a stick character. Uh, and when we want to uh, create a Genoma rig for it, um, is one already adapted to the character inside? So let's create the rig. And uh, I usually would set uh, my view display to bounding box because uh, the refreshes may take longer if your character is complex uh, during the, the Genoma rig creation process. But uh, because this is a simple character, it went pretty quick. Now you'll notice these uh, bones. The blue are the uh, Never on Motion rig. Okay, so now that I've got this, uh, it's a good idea to save this scene out. So we don't have to do this each time through. So this would be our puppet guy created rig. Now, to uh, use the connect uh, rig to control the uh, this this character it's kind of similar to using like a BVH or an FBX except we're going to be using uh, the scene that we created for the connect so let's load items from scene and uh, what did we call that uh, goofing around right so we load all that up and uh, okay that was my goofy position to start with right Let's go to the studio panel. I don't need to be live anymore because I'm just going to be playing back stuff. All right. So that's the, the that's take two. And there's a take one. All right. So when we do the retargeting process using Never on Motion. Let's go to our master plugins and ever motion retarget. Uh, we need to have that base pose uh, similar to the the never motion pose. So it's a good idea to deactivate this. And uh, right now I'm not doing any additional adapting. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm just using since they're pretty close. I'm just going to use them as is. Uh, we go to the preset for connect player zero, as opposed to some of these others and uh, just hit retarget. Close that down. Uh, now when we go active, the character controlled by the Never Motion Rig is being uh, controlled by the Connect Rig, which is being controlled by the Virtual Studio. So that's just a quick way to get, uh, get that through. Um, of course, what you would do is uh, to get a, a more accurate uh, connection between the connect green rig and the, and the never in motion rig is to uh, better adapt the proportions of the arms and legs 
Uh, another tutorial that demonstrates that process. Um, okay, so let's say I want to switch to take two. I can do that as well, or take three or whatever. Or let's say I wanted to create a new take, go live. Uh, notice that everything's interactive at this point. Okay, so let's uh, see. I'm just playing around right now. So you can actually uh, do your takes before the retargeting process or after the retargeting process. Uh, you can untarget and retarget, make adjustments, use different characters as well. So let's uh, record. Let's see, we had 400 frames before, right? So let's do 400 frames. Okay, so this is take three. Done. 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 Okay. Dancing around, and we are done. Let's uh, go off live, play back, and there we go. Of course, if you're going to make some adjustments uh, to the base pose, you have to deactivate this and, and work on it in that in that position, not while it's being uh, manipulated in this way. So that gets you started. Uh, good idea to save that scene as well. This would be the puppet guy retargeted and three takes. Okay, now that we've got a take recorded and we're playing it back, let's see what we can do with Never on Motion regarding baking. There are two ways to bake. First, you can bake to the controls and then to the bones. When you bake to the controls, which we'll do now, you can control uh, some adjustments on an additional animation layer. There will be uh, controls that are magenta for the back and spine, uh, green for the neck and head, uh, orange um, for the arms, and blue for the legs. All right. So once we've baked to the controls, now we no longer need the Virtual Studio to control that rig. Notice that I've just deactivated Virtual Studio and the uh, Never in Motion rig still moves as it would normally. Um, so one thing we can do is get rid of the connect information from our scene. We'll get rid of anything with the SK0 or SKL uh, items. All right, and then we're left with just our baked Never in Motion rig with the target bones controlling the the character mesh. So let's go back into Never on Motion and notice that we have the show target bones. Can turn that on or off. So let's turn it off while we make some make some adjustments to the character. For example, let's say we go here and we want to adjust the, the foot. There's a little bit of the ankle. Let's see, there's the toe. Bring that down a bit. Do some stuff with the leg. This is all rotation. Here's some crack my back here. Uh, we can do stuff with the hands. Okay. And then jump ahead in time. We can do that. Do a little hand waving. Play that. Okay, so that's that extra layer of animation. Once we're happy with changes we've done here, then we can go back to the baking process and bake to the bones. Now, baking is a destructive operation, meaning that you're not able to undo it. So it is a good idea to save your scene prior to baking just in case you want to get back to your um, you know previous scene state uh, in case you've done something wrong or you may want to make some changes once you've uh, baked to the bones the controls in the never motion rig will be uh, eliminated and you can see that the character moves and if we show target bones we still got the target bones in the in the rig but the animation controls are gone. So what we would do then is save this scene out 
and use it as an asset in another scene using the load items from scene option in Lightwave. Okay, thank you.